Yeah, yeah. Lady Justice in the house. Keeping the balances of justice level with the light of liberty shining bright. You're so silly. What? Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Press on. We got gang activity. This is episode two, season two, Court of Public Opinion. Coming at you at June 21st. 2021 at 4:20 p.m. Tulsa time. Yeah, yeah. Smoke it up. So, be sure to catch the light of liberty shining bright immediately after this. 4:20 Mountain time. Now I saw this gang member with a flashlight over here and he's walking that way. I think I'm always headed to This house up here with the lights on. And he just got in his car. And he's fleeing scrutiny. We got Lady Justice Liberty News. Right here. So I know that they were all up in this yard over here, really dark. Oh, I can barely see. I'm in an alley. Am I committing a crime? So you did, you and her, um, I believe it was two or three weeks ago at a park here in Nampa. The park was closed after hours and the officer requested that you leave and you disobeyed his order and we need to issue you citations or apply for a warrant for your arrest. Well, I won't resist. I won't resist. I know. I won't resist you in any way. I know. I just need your identification, buddy. Well, um, I haven't committed a crime. So you, that's, so I just explained to you, right? So you did commit a crime. You committed a resistant obstruction officer by not leaving when he gave you a lawful order to leave that park. Okay. So it's a misdemeanor that was committed. I don't. Uh, if you tell me to dance like a chicken, I don't have to dance like a chicken just because you say something doesn't mean it's lawful. And I did leave. Okay. I did leave, and it's not Mr. Um, I don't believe in names. Names are hurtful. It's against my First Amendment right of religion. I'm one of the people, and people, it's not nice to call people names, and I didn't commit a crime. I have a right to come and redress my public officials, whether they're hiding in a park or wherever they are, and I wasn't in a park. 
I was on a road with a sign, a street sign, that uh, has no... Your identification, sir? We already have your I haven't committed a crime, but I won't resist you in any way. Okay, then can I have... You know, I won't, I won't resist you. You can give it to my... I won't resist you in any way, so shape or form, but... So you are by not giving me your information? Well... So that's a second count of resistance obstructions if I asked you for your identification oh. and you don't provide it to me. Well... I have the intent to what is your badge number? Or I'm sorry, your um, radio number. Uh, 602. 602. Same badge number and radio number. Same. All right, well. Can you give me your identification, sir? I, I haven't committed a crime, and 3802 says I don't have to so give I, an ID I, until I've been under placed you. under lawful arrest. Okay. You haven't placed me under lawful arrest, and if you I do... Have the intent to issue you a misdemeanor citation. Oh, actually, there's no failure to ID in Idaho, so... There's no such thing. Are you going to not give me your information? I don't, I haven't committed a crime. So you did, I just explained to you, and now not giving me your identification is again committing the same violation of resistance obstruct the police officer and his investigation. Well, I won't, you know. It's, it's Idaho code 18-705 if you want to look it up real quick. I would assume you guys have access to that kind of a thing on your... You would assume? Cell phones. Well, the thing is, is that um, I have a right to uh, to redress my officials and to press on you. And uh, I came into the park, or I didn't go into the park, but I came um, to you onto a street. And it doesn't matter what I call it; it's what it is. Okay, it's what it is. You can do what you want to do. Something that you can about that. Hundred percent, and that's great. Then you guys can take it to court, and then we can argue this in court, right? Right now is not the time to argue it. That's well, why we give you guys court dates and you guys can go to court and argue there has court. Not been We present any our evidence, you present committed. your evidence, there and has there we not go. not been any crimes committed, sir. That's what we keep telling you. No okay. crimes and that's, were committed that's something that you guys can argue in court. But as of you know, right but now, I need But we do have the right to redress our government. We also oh, have the right to talk and dandy, to um, our officials, our public servants, uh -huh. wherever they might be, whether if it's broad daylight, in the middle of the dark, darkness, wherever. You, you have a nice there. day, all right? You have a nice night. Come on, let's go. Am I detained? Yeah, no. Actually you are. Oh, I'm detained? Yes, you are. Well, I won't resist detainment or anything. If you say I'm detained. I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not stopping you from doing anything. You're, you're stopping me from issuing you a citation because I need your name for that. Your name and birth date, if you would, please. Again, sir, names are hurtful, and it is not nice okay. to call people names. Please well, he was given a name that. at birth, right? It goes against his religion, his First Amendment protective, constitutionally protected activity. First Amendment uh -huh. doesn't cover names. Uh, it does cover religion. Why don't you need right, to go back and look at that, okay? It does cover religion. It doesn't cover yeah. names. Well, okay, well... There you so, go. Check sure. it out. Your Maybe first names name are and part of religious of beliefs. Maybe names are part of. I have a First Amendment beliefs. right to uh, not make speech. So, yeah, you do is, have a right is, not. This to is going to go one of two ways. Yeah, either I'm going to press on or I'm going to press harder. So, That's. I'm